Welcome. We're glad you're here and tuned in to the Finley Community Spotlight Series. Finley Automotive Group is excited to spotlight the ALS Association Nevada Chapter. We hope you're inspired by this short video and we invite you to connect with them and many other community organizations at finleyspotlight.com. The organization started out as ALS of Nevada about 14 years ago. It was started by a woman whose husband had passed from ALS and she wanted to be able to do things for families that her husband didn't have access to, like being able to borrow equipment or attend an ALS clinic. And so she just kind of in her garage started ALS of Nevada and over the years it grew and in 2015 became the part of the ALS Association and now we're one of 39 chapters across the country. ALS means amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, so eventually um, muscle atrophy, the muscles atrophy, all the voluntary muscles in the body, so it makes it difficult for them to, to move, um, take care of their daily activities, um, showering, speaking, feeding themselves, driving their vehicles. Um, and it does affect that, ultimately it affects the breathing muscle, the diaphragm muscle, so um, terrible disease. About 5% of all cases they say are familial ALS where it runs in, it is genetic and it does run in the family bloodline. The other 90 to 95% is just what they call sporadic, so um, they don't really know. I mean, we see a lot of people, a lot of military, a lot of athletes, they just don't really know at this point. That's probably the biggest struggle for me as a nurse, um, to, to meet a patient and a family member of somebody who's been diagnosed for two plus years and they're just now finding out about us. So I think the um, awareness here in Las Vegas could, could be a little bit better. I think that we could kind of all work together as far as the physicians on telling the families and the patients about us because primarily we're their support system here. We do our best to support them in all aspects, whether it be applying for Social Security, Medicare, disability, like I said, bringing equipment. We have a, a respite grant where we can help pay for some in-home care. My name is Rowena Yabut, and um, my husband actually um, is a member. We're members of the ALS Association because he was diagnosed with ALS in December of 2013. I come across so many people who when they ask me um, what is wrong with my husband, oftentimes I have to, from ALS, I have to switch over to telling them that he has Lou Gehrig's because no one is really familiar with the term ALS. But even though they know the term Lou Gehrig's, they really don't know what Lou Gehrig's really entails. And honestly, that's how we were in the beginning. It really changed everything for us. I mean, from the beginning, we were in denial still from a newly diagnosed, you know, um, but it, it really changed our outlook, so we were eager to learn more about it and how to live with it and how to fight the disease. Um, and you know, the support really has given us so much hope, you know, for a cure. He's had the trach since August of 2016, so obviously he's pretty bed bound on his hospital bed. However, every three months, um, I take him anywhere he wants to go. He's always been an outdoorsy person. Camping was a big thing for him every year. So although we cannot do that, um, you know, we improvise. Uh, so we're originally from San Francisco. So every, I'll say three months, I take the drive. So we've been back and forth every three months since probably 2016 from surgery. Um, and I take him everywhere, reservoir to the lakes, I mean, everywhere just to enjoy the outdoors. So my mentality is just because he's in this position where he's got a trach, um, he continue, I want him to continue to live life as much as possible. We do four events a year, three in Las Vegas and one in Reno. We have a walk in Las Vegas, a walk in Reno, a golf tournament in Las Vegas, and then our food is art event. Um, you know, from time to time we use volunteers to help us with different activities that we do. Um, you know, the biggest need for people with ALS is support. Uh, our care service coordinators, we have two of them, really they spend most of their time visiting patients and families, talking to them on the phone, helping them navigate through getting insurance or Medicare or Medicaid, um, helping them get access to resources that, that they should have and that they desperately need. So it's not a matter of you can donate an item because that's not something that we usually need. 
it, it really is more of the financial need to cover the expenses of, of the staff that we have. We are very hopeful and very optimistic that there will be a cure in my lifetime. The Ice Bucket Challenge in 2014 kind of took the whole world by surprise. The money that's been invested from the Ice Bucket Challenge that has really helped uh, speed up research. Some of the research that's being done now, the, the researchers will say, it, without this money, without this extra funding from the Ice Bucket Challenge, it may be another five to 10 years before we would have discovered this. You'll never meet a stronger group of people than people who have ALS and their families because you know, they're going through the ultimate, the ultimate horror of a disease. And so many of them can still remain positive. So many of them you know, are still adamant that they will be a family as long as they can. And you know, that's what gives me hope and joy every day to know that we can help be part of that. You can go to our website, which is alsanv.org, or you can call our office at 702-777-0500.